hey guys what's going on <laughs> it's your girl flawless faces by ada and if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome so guys this video is all about me doing my client's date night makeup transformation and basically i'm wiping her face off with a baby wipes this is major key with makeup you know moving on i'm gonna be using my sasha mattifying facial primer on her face So after doing that, I'm going to be using these two foundations. I'm going to be using my Maybelline foundation and my Harry Mouth, my Harry Matt foundation as a foundation for this look. So guys, I'm going to be using a flat brush to spread out the foundations on her face. I love to do this step because if I use my Beauty Blender straight to like apply the foundation on her face, it's going to suck. A lot of foundation and you know things are hard I don't have money to waste so I use I do this step first before I then go in with my damn beauty blender to blend the foundations seamlessly into her skin okay So after blending in the foundation and the foundation into her skin, I'm going to be using my Zaron powder palette. That color I showed you guys there is actually her face color for powder. So I'm going to be using my powder brush to like mattify her face together to like bring the whole shebangs, the whole thing going on on her face together. That's what I'm using my powder to do. And basically why I do this step is because she has a bit of oily skin so i use powder to like you know it helps you know we makeup artists you know what we'll be doing like if you want your makeup to last all day long you need to use your powder to mattify everything now right now i'm going to be concealing her face using my la girl pro concealer i've forgotten the shade but i'm going to be using it to highlight her face her forehead underneath her eye the bridge her, the bridge of her nose, her cupid's bow, her jaw, everywhere I'm supposed to be highlighting, guys. I'm going to be highlighting it, okay? So, guys, I want to plead with you guys. There is a background noise going on in this video. There is a construction going on near my building. So, if you hear any stupid noise, any unpleasant noise, any annoying noise, please ignore the noise and just concentrate on what I'm lecturing you guys on. Okay? Please pardon that noise. It will not repeat itself again. Like, that construction will soon end very soon. Okay? So guys, after highlighting her face, I'm going to be contouring her nose using my um, contour palette. I use a medium to dark shade. Why is it that anytime I want to talk, these people start their nice? Oh my god. I'm going to be contouring her nose. I'm going to be using my same flat brush. I use in applying the highlight. I'm going to be using to contour her nose. And I'm going to be contouring the sides of her face, you know, to make her face look snatched her forehead um yeah basically everywhere i'm going to be i'm so basically everywhere i'm supposed to contour like you know i'm going to be contouring it using my cream contour palette so right now i'm using my kabuki brush to buff in the cream contour i already applied on her face i'm going to be using it to blend it in 
Did I say buff? Oh my god, English is becoming hard these days. <laughs> to blend in, Jesus. Oh god. So guys, using my damn beauty blender, I'm going to be blending out the areas that highlighted on her face, her forehead, the bridge of her nose, her jaw, her underneath her eyes, her cupid's bow, you know, everywhere I highlighted, I'm going to be blending it out using my damn beauty blender. So guys, after blending out her face, see her face looking all flawless, you know. I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set the areas I highlighted. So guys, I'm going to be moving into my Zaron powder palette to set in the areas I cream contoured. So guys, after setting in the areas I cream contoured with my Zaron powder palette, moving on to her brows, I'm going to be using my mascara wine to brush her hairs in place. Then I'm going to be using my Haggai, <coughs> my Haggai and Esther brow filler to outline her brows, and I'm going to be using my angled brush to do that.
so guys after outlining her brows using my hair guy and esther brow permit i'm going to be using my brow crayon to fill in the spiced areas in her brows So after doing that, I'm going to be using my LA Girl, the same LA Girl Pro Concealer I used in highlighting her face. I'm going to be using it to highlight underneath her brows. Then I'm going to be further concealing underneath her brows like the front part of her brows. I'm going to be using her foundation shade to conceal it. I don't like to use concealer in that part that part is not supposed to be highlighted okay that is why i don't like to use concealer in that part the part that is supposed to be highlighted is her brow bone so i use only concealer in that part you feel me you you feel me above her brows i'm going to be concealing it using her foundation okay guys So right now guys moving on to her eyeshadow i already primed her eyelid using my la girl pro concealer and i set it in with powder so i'm going to be using my morphe eyeshadow palette and i'm going to be using a purple color but it has pink reflection on it i'm going to be using that color i showed you guys as her crease color for this look and i'm using in case you guys are wondering the brush i'm using i'm using my zoifa brush set for her eyeshadow application So after doing that, I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Mew to prime her eyelid. I prefer to use NYX Jumbo Pencil because it helps the eyeshadow pop a lot better. So after applying that, I'm going to be using the tips of my fingers to blend it seamlessly into her I did right now I'm going to be using that pink color I showed you guys for my face and eye eyeshadow palette it has shimmers on it I'm going to be using it with my flat brush to on her eyelid basically
and i actually used an orange shimmery eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette from same face and eye eyeshadow palette above the pink color so there's this orange reflection you're going to be seeing on top of the pink eyeshadow i actually applied initially So guys, after doing her eyeshadow, I'm going to be dusting off the excess fallout I had from her eyeshadow on her face using my powder brush with my same Zaron powder palette. Then after dusting that out, I have to line underneath her eye, but guess what guys, this is my client has a very teary eye so i couldn't show you guys on camera how i was lining her waterline so that she won't say and you know spoil spoil the whole makeup so after doing that i'm going to be using the same face and eye eyeshadow palette you see did you guys see the pink color i used on her eye did i'm going to be using the same pink color underneath her eye to smudge out the black eyeliner and i'm going to be using my glitter palette to also apply pink glitter underneath her eye and after doing that i'm going to be using my powder brush to like dust off the excess fallout i had on her face then i'm using my blush palette the blush palette i'm using for this look is the same Osh blush palette i use for every look i'm not particular about blush so i use the same blush palette for every look so long as it blends well i'm good to go okay i'm gonna be using after applying blush i'm gonna be using my setting spray to bring the whole makeup together and right now i'm moving on to, moving on to her lips i'm gonna be using my kylie brown lip stain to outline her lips then i'm gonna be you know blending it in and in the middle of her lips i'm going to be using my dose of colors lip stain in the middle of her lips and i'm going to be using my lip brush to blend it together you know blend it together till i achieve what i want and i'm going to be using a lip gloss to bring everything together i know my voice is sounding somehow in this whole voice over thing i'm doing i don't know i caught cold so my voice is kind of too coarse or something i don't know so you guys should just enjoy the video and don't forget to enjoy the video <laughs> and i'm also happy filming i don't know there's something i've just, just been happy i've been happy since today so you're going to feel it in my voice okay moving on to her moving on to highlights or glow i'm going to be using that highlight or glow kit i showed you guys to highlight 
everywhere on her face like her cheek I'm still going to apply highlight on those areas that you're supposed to highlight her cheek her forehead the bridge of her nose her cupid's ball you know still still the same old but thin still the same still the same okay <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video because as you can see my client here enjoyed the makeup she's feeling herself already and she's been smiling since so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed looking at her pretty face because i can see she enjoyed the makeup or she's already loving the makeup even if i'm not done huh She's been smiling since. So guys, can you peep the joy in her face? So guys, this is the makeup all done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on my social media handle on Instagram at Flawless Faces by Ada, on Snapchat at Adobe Me and Six, on Twitter at Flawless Faces by Ada. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I love you guys. Chop keys. Mwah.